What is up guys, it's Peach here. Today, we're gonna be building and, I mean, not actually building, but rebuilding classic Minecraft starter homes that lots of players use. Um, I don't know what that lag spike was. We are going to be starting with the classic cave house. Um, typically how you build a cave house is you go into a cave. Yes, I went pretty deep. I just decided to do it for the intro. Because deep slate looks better than like regular stone and granite and stuff like that. Um, typically you would hollow out a small area just like this. Without a hole on the roof. Um, yeah, I need to do a little terraforming. Um, yeah, typically you would hollow out a small area. Just like this one. And then that area would be your base. But in the rebuilt one, that's actually still what we're going to do, surprisingly. No, it's a cave base. We're not going to... It's not going to be in a cave. But basically, you can either make a cave base like this. Or the more preferable option, which I will be showing you how to do. Is... If you go into spectator mode. And you find a small cave... I think this one will do pretty nicely. You will find a small area inside of it. You'll hollow it out. So make the area bigger, suitable enough for living size. Because if you're claustrophobic, you don't want to be living in here right now. What the heck, why am I getting lag spikes? Um. I'm getting low FPS, um, well, to my standards anyway. Um, we are gonna be playing... Wait, no, let me try to fix this one. Okay, that should do it. Yeah, I got a big FPS boost, 300. Um, so, something like this, you want a small cave like this. This is a more preferable kind, well, at least the one I think is more preferable. I like it, this, I like it like this. You're gonna make sure it's pretty polished. No grass where you don't want it to be. Like, except on the floor. If you want grass on the floor, that's... Like, if you don't want grass on the floor, you can remove it, personally. I like the aesthetic of moss. I still get, I'm still getting lag spikes. This is so weird. I've never had this happen like this before. Even on servers. Um. Um. I will just, oh, oh, I hate that, auto jump, that is on, that's awful, um, I like the aesthetic of moss, personally, you don't have to, it's just my choice, decoration, you can, you can decorate the floor however you want, I don't care, I personally don't care, so this area is going to be your base, um, you're and then you're gonna take the back, you're gonna fill it in, you're gonna block it off, like you would probably expect by now. And now you have a nice moss floor leading into your small cave starter cave base. Now you're gonna get some slabs. Um, I'm leaving a lot of leeway for you, so you can decorate this pretty much however you want. But I'm gonna be texturing everything, because I think that looks pretty good. If you don't, that's your choice. So, do whatever you want with it. But, something. Um. I just made Stone Age, and I'm making a cave base. Um. Here we go. Oh, dang, I didn't mean to do that. I will replace that with a, co a cob slab. What? <laughs> So now you have a little decorated, now you have a little decorated terraformed area, and you have, yeah, you can add stairs, I'll add a few, I don't want to take that much time. 
so I'm not going to add that many. To my chair. You're going to be... Now, for the essentials. You're going to be grabbing a crafting table, a smithing table, an anvil... Okay, so now we're gonna be, let's choose a face, choose a pretty open face. I'm gonna be choosing this one. I think it suits the area. Having that there, maybe fill the rest with moss or whatever you used for your decoration. Um, um, this is just a bit- Hey guys, editing Peach here. Um, we're gonna skip this part because the video is getting a very much too long and I don't want to bore you guys. So, see you in the next part. You can add a mine entrance, you can just, like, just, or you can literally just, like, not do anything, take inspiration from this design, and that's all you have to do with it. Like, you don't have to do anything with it. You can just have it in your world and have it look good. So, that's base number one down. Let's move on. To the mound base. Okay, um, so, this is the mound base, or... You know the classic mound base, you have a door going into a mound, and then the mound just goes, like, into a little base. I, I like this base, I actually really like it if you decorate it well. Yeah, really, if you're just a starting player, or building's not your strong suit, or maybe you just are not concerned about how it looks, it can have your furnace, your bed, your storage, all you could ever need is a normal survival player in Minecraft. We can just start building it. Maybe some stairs. So now we can just add some, like... I'm using spruce theme for this, since I think spruce looks really nice. Just some quick pillars in the corner. We never, never used flat walls. They look bad. Flat walls look really... Flat walls usually look bad. Um... I'm gonna be using a square design for this. You can use whatever design you want. Um, you can either use spruce planks, which I'll be using some of the time, and the, or you can use um, stripped logs. I'll build um, half of the base with each, so you can just see what you like. Personally, I think stripped logs look good, but they don't really have, but they're expensive. They and they have a little green into them, which I don't think looks good, unless you're filling a large space with them, or, t or just texturing. And also the top does look good, so I'm gonna be putting the tops of them in the center. Like this, I think it looks good like that. And then I can get, and actually, like the spruce log, the strips logs, I'll be using for the floor, so. Um, yeah, you can use dark oak, whatever you want. So that's basically the build part of it done. Now the essentials. Um, tied that really badly. Um, you can do... Crafting table. Smithing table. Anvil. Anvil. Um, stone. Stone cutter. Maybe you would want to do some. Maybe you'd want to add some slabs up there. I think that looks good. So. Oh, I forgot. You need every base needs one of these. A nice bed. And um. One of my little favorite aesthetics that I like to put is a stair, a pot, a, p a flower pot with azalea inside of it. It just looks so cute, and like I don't understand why I like it. I just think it looks really good. Like, say I built it one time, and you can have like you can remove this, put it there or something and have like an enchanting setup over there. That's, so, assuming this is a starter base, you don't need that. Every base needs some torches, even if I have full bright on. Actually, 
actually. Um, you can make torches look really good, like this. You can get a glow item fr framed and apply that the torches are lighting it up. You can add a slab, cobblestone probably, since it's beginner, or stone. I think cobblestone looks better. And then, you have little torch holders. That's gonna wrap it up for this space, the mound base. I'll see you at the next one. The village base. Boom. We're at a small village house. And we're gonna start with a different one. No, I'm kidding. I like this one. We're gonna be changing it up. Um, let's A, first remove this guy from the house. I wanna kill him, but I can't. Get out of here, there's no bed. Leave. Okay. So to cause that to fix that problem, we're gonna be using a fence gate. And then a door. This will solve the problem of villagers coming to our house. And how you might say? Well I'll tell you. You can since villagers can open doors, they can just walk into your house. But when villager, but when a villager tries to open this door, a fence gate will be on the other side. So when you open this door, you just can't walk through. They walk out. And then for us, for our convenience, yes, I'm gonna move this house back. It's really small. We can, you can just, you can literally just use. Um, don't build the redstone. So we'll cut that part out. Um. Okay guys, we tried to build some redstone to open the door, but it didn't work, so don't build redstone to open the door. People get suspicious, think it's a trap, and never can trust you again. So, now this is your villager-proof house. You can just, like, b you basically lock it when you go away, and you can leave it open if you want. You can come back and have it there. That's your villager-proof house. I'm going to be keeping it closed. Okay, I think that's a little spacious. You can now you can just place your furnaces. Same, same, same deal. You get a crafting table. Your crafting table. Your crafting table there. You don't need the smithing table. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. You can, or you can stack the furnaces and you have more room. I'm personally gonna double them. I think that helps with like efficiency and stuff. And so, there we go. And this is your 2x2. Two two. You can get a bed. You can do the same trick with the Azalea. Um, I like using one darker shade, so like spruce for that. No. Pot Azalea. This helps. Vibes. Um, now, if you want to know why I made those holes, you're gonna. Um, I'm gonna be getting an oak trapdoor or glass if you don't have the glass trapdoors on and just quickly remove the door actually I didn't need to do that I'm dumb um open that um stay out of my house stay out of my house you dumb villager oh my god this is why I don't build bases like this I'm gonna kill you if you don't get out in five seconds. Wait, did he get a job in my house? Can you get out of here? Can you leave? Leave. Leave my house. Leave my house. Okay. I'm closing that. So, um, you're gonna want torches. You're gonna, you're gonna want whatever you, basically whatever you want, actually. <laughs> You can place like there we go. An unnerving head to invite, the, an inviting head to welcome anybody in your house. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna remove that. Actually, I'll keep it. It's funny. I'm gonna put some cobwebs up here. Um, I forgot about storage. Oh, I'm done. Well, go on. Okay. 
there's your chest. And that's gonna wrap it up. And actually, I think... I think those are three classic starter bases. Refurbished. Oh yeah, put whatever you want here. Put an azalea bush. Um, that's actually gonna be three classic starter bases. Refurbished into newer versions of themselves. Fi just fixing them, making them better to live in, and have have fun building these in your worlds. And, but, I'm afraid that that's gonna be it for today's video. Bye guys!